hello friends welcome to java swing uh, tutorial in this video we are going to see how jview port work in uh, java so you will learn jview port then how we use set view position and get view position the view position will return point and this point is from java.awt package we will also see how to use the set view on jview port Yeah, if you see this yellow marker, this one is your uh, JView port. If you see the document is containing other objects, so the view port is showing you part of the document and you can scroll this viewport to any portion so that you can see different part of the document here if you see when we move the viewport you may be seeing the English letters ABC and a triangle that means you are viewing a different part of the document so usually the document may have a different width and height So initially the viewport is at uh, zero, 00 position let us assume and if you want to see a different portion of a document then you will be moving this uh, viewport to delta x and delta y. So by moving the viewport you will see different portion of the document. So first you will construct a J viewport, then then you will make a call to set view on the J viewport, and for the set view you can supply any component. So once a J viewport is ready. we will add it to the content pen so to recap it first we will create jview port so first we will create a jview port and so we may create it with an empty constructor then we will make a call to set view and to the set view we will supply the component so this can be any component, AWT or Swing component. For example, J text pan, J panel, or a normal AWT panel. Then we will add this J viewport to the content pan of uh, uh, the high level uh, component. For example, J frame. So our example will have two panel, one is a panel with a, a big button grid and in the bottom we will create one more panel which will contain some control. So if you see here we will have a button grid in the top uh, that means in the each cell we will have one uh, command button so likewise all the grids are uh, filled then in the bottom panel we will have two j buttons so 
so this will be our j viewport and we can scroll through different part of the button grid using this j viewport so we usually provide to control up and up and down so using this we can uh, scroll to the content so actually this will be the button grid so here i have shown uh, uh, viewport like this right so the viewport will be actually so this will be our viewport initial uh, viewport and it occupies entire width and height if you see we are uh, seeing only portion so using the up and down we can move this uh, viewport once we go to the example you will understand it in a clear manner so using the set and get view position uh, we can get the origin using the get position using the set position you can move the origin if i set view position to different uh, location then you will be the viewing the grid at this uh, location so the document is this much big so by moving this uh, j viewport we can assign a button and that will perform the scrolling it looks like we are actually panning the content inside our viewport so this is our example and if you click up you will be seeing different portion of the button grid that means it looks like the we are panning this uh, button grid so the grid is this much big right so we are scrolling that that means we are actually moving the j viewport to a different location all right that's all on the theory part we will look at the example in the next video